What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Christy Mack, and I'm back with another video. You guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my 10 tips and advice that I have learned over the last year since I got a kidney transplant. So if you guys know anyone that could benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for all the best kidney-related advice. And to be notified when I post every Sunday and Wednesday. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. You guys, as I've battled over the last year, it has not been easy, but by no means is it, you know, dialysis. Now that was the toughest time I've ever had in life. And those that are on dialysis know exactly what I mean. It's not easy, but neither is transplant life. You know, you have your ups and your downs. And so these are my 10 tips that I have learned and I want to share with those that are coming behind me. So the first thing I'm gonna say, I know it sounds cliche, but it's to rest, guys. Rest, take your time. You know, I was not good at this. You guys know, I'm just a workaholic. It's in my DNA. But I do find time to rest and listen to my body. When my body tells me no, I know not to go anymore. But when you first get that transplant, it is crucial to take your time and rest and allow your body to get acclimated to everything that's going on. Remember, it's not your kidney. It's someone else's organ that's inside of you. So you wanna take care of it as much as possible. So relax and enjoy this moment. Have your friends and family take care of you to their best ability. But that is the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys because it's something that I have personally struggles with is rest, okay? The second thing that I want you guys to do is drink tons of water. I know we're getting off of dialysis where we had to limit our intake, but water is crucial in this new phase. We have to constantly be drinking. Otherwise, you may end up with a bladder infection. I've done it. It's no joke. I thought I was losing my kidney. You know, I was having fevers and I was in pain. And you know what that tells me? That I need to drink a lot more water than I was drinking. And I felt like I was guzzling down water. But you know, some days are better than other days. Some days you're gonna drink a lot, some days you may not. But I want you guys to, you know, I have a video that talks about your water intake. Make a timer, put a timer on your phone. You know, put out, lay out your waters. But whatever you have to do, I am begging you to drink as much as possible. Even if you're not on dialysis and you're watching this video and you're healthy, or you know you haven't got a kidney transplant, and again, you're healthy, drink water. It's good for your immune system. It flushes out all the toxins. It just keeps your body regulated. So always drink water. So get that bottle of water. Another tip is maybe if you just drink a bottle of water first thing in the morning. You know, it does let you regulate yourself, but it's just one bottle already done for the day and drink as you, you know, eat your foods. But keep yourself on a schedule, guys, and drink as much water as possible. So the third thing I'm gonna say is eat better. And the reason why I'm saying this, yes, we have a new chance at life, it's a second chance. So we want to preserve the kidney. But not only that, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, that weight will pile on. I lost so much weight in dialysis phase. I mean, you guys seen the pictures. I came down to a stick figure. I didn't even recognize myself. All my bones, my skin, like I was really looking terrible when I was on dialysis. Now that I am, you know, in this new phase of life with the kidney transplant, I'm telling you firsthand, that weight will pile on especially if you're taking like prednisone. I'm on a low doses of prednisone, I'm on five milligrams. And just five milligrams is plumping me up fast. Yes, you guys saw my you know, videos where I say I wanted to gain weight. Well, I gained weight and I gained it really fast. So imagine, I have to be on these medications for the rest of my life. And so I want you to be mindful of what you're eating 
because it's going to play a factor. So we got what we're eating and now we got the medications. So be careful of what you're eating. Like right now, this week, I personally did a diet with there was no meat. I did no meat at all and I lost five pounds. It's where I wanna be. Where I'm at right now is where I personally wanna be. So I have to work hard to stay at this stage. Otherwise, it's gonna pile on, right? It's in my DNA and not only is it in my DNA, I'm taking the pills, I'm eating a lot. So I definitely need to do what I need to do so I don't pile on this weight. So exercise, you know, do whatever you have to do guys, but just be mindful of what you're putting in your mouth. I'm always hungry, so what do I do? I buy tons of snacks. Not garbage snacks, but like fruits. And I love, you know, grapes, and I love bananas, and things that I couldn't eat a lot, like when I was on dialysis, I'm now eating. But be mindful of what you're eating, because you know you can't eat grapefruit and pomegranate and certain things like that, but just be careful. Maybe put yourself on a schedule, right? Maybe you have a small breakfast and then you have a you know, fruit for lunch and then you maybe do a smoothie, but just be careful of what you're putting in because the garbage that we're putting in is going to help us blow up even more and we don't want that. So that was my biggest thing to tell you guys is please be careful in the choices for your food that you're going to be taking. Number four is going to be find time to de-stress. I know that's hard, right? Because a lot of people had to get back to work right away. You may have kids like myself. You know, people are like, okay, well, you're better. You got a chance, but now I need you to do this. I need you to do that. I want you to take a moment for yourself. And I personally had to have my friends, I love you guys, step in and tell me that. And remind me that when I was on dialysis, I was begging for the family time. I was begging for those moments. And it's so important that we just take time for ourselves. So you guys know I'm big into journaling and that helps me de-stress. When I write out my thoughts and I'm talking and to my higher ups and I'm just going over what is going on in my life because sometimes you may not be able to verbally express it and sometimes people are not gonna understand how you feel. So just find a moment, you know, if it's watching that Netflix or if it's going for that walk or getting a massage done, if it's getting your nails done. I personally don't do my nails and that has something to do with my lupus. That's a whole nother story. But find what works for you. Find things that distress you, that makes you laugh and smile, guys. This is our second chance at life. And stress is a killer. And so I want you to take time for yourself. Do things that make you happy. Me, I like getting dressed up. I like putting my makeup on. I like feeling good about myself. And those are my things that I do to distress me. So make that a priority in your life. Okay, so the next tip, tip number five, is going to be walk and get fresh air. So I don't know about everybody's hospital. For me, from day one, they wanted me out of the bed. They wanted me walking. And it's crucial that you keep that up. So I live in a climate where it's cold all the time and then it's hot. But when I first got my transplant, the weather was good. It was still cold. So if the days that I couldn't go outside, I would make laps around my house. You see this table here? I would just make laps around that table, go through my kitchen, go through my living room, and just walk. But there's nothing better than going outside and getting fresh air because that relates to the tip before where I said it's a de-stressor. But it helps you keep the weight off, right? It helps you clear your mind, but you're doing what's necessary. The doctors want us to walk, so what you do, you put your shoes on and you get to walking. Walk with a friend, walk with a family member. I know it's COVID right now, but you find time for everything else and everyone else. We need to find time for ourselves, okay? So what I want you guys to do is just walk. If you can't run, you walk. If you could only walk to the mailbox, so be it. You walk to the mailbox today, but guess what? Tomorrow, I want you to walk to the stop sign. After that, I want you to make a go around the block. But every day, make progress walk and get fresh air. That was tip number five. So now we're on tip number six, guys. Tip number six is to listen to your body. It's very crucial, right? Because your body is gonna tell you if something is off, how you're feeling. And not all the time the doctors are going to 
be able to look at you and know that there's something wrong. If your body is telling you something is off, just pick up that phone or send a quick email to your transplant department and let them know how you're feeling. And you may not know, but maybe even jump into one of our, you know, kidney groups. There's tons of kidney groups online. Ask other people, have they experienced this? You know, you guys are more than welcome to comment below and ask me personally what I have been through. And I'm always here for you guys. I'll always explain, ooh, that doesn't sound too right. Or, you know, when somebody asked me something one time, I said, man, that doesn't sound too right. I think you need to get hold of your kidney transplant team. And long behold, that person was going into a rejection. So we don't wanna wait for something to happen. So I would say, listen to your body. If your body is telling you something is off, even if you're a healthy human being, you wanna listen to your body. You know your body. No one knows you better than you know yourself. And so listen to what it's telling you. If you're getting an ache and a pain, there's a reason why. There's always a reason. Now it's up to your doctor to figure out what that reason is, but there's always a reason for something that you're feeling, okay? My seventh advice is buy new clothes and enjoy your life. You guys, when I got my kidney transplant and I started gaining weight, I bought new clothes. I wanted to feel good about myself. You know, I was in this new phase and I'm like, you know what? I wanna look good. So I bought on, you guys know I love me some Fashion Nova and I love those kind of stores, but not even that, you know, wherever your dollars can afford you to go, just go and buy yourself some new clothes. Even if it's one outfit this month and maybe something else the next, but make yourself feel good. Go out and buy something for you. Cause we do so much for everybody else. I personally do so much for everybody else. My kids, my husband, but my husband's like, man, you're shopping a lot. You damn right I'm shopping a lot. Cause I wanna feel good about myself. This is a new chapter. This is a new Chrissy, okay? So go out, do something nice for yourself once in a while. Look guys, it's nothing better than looking good when you walk outside and you know that you just got a kidney transplant. You're feeling yourself. I'm feeling myself. So that's my tip for you. That's my advice. Go out, buy something for yourself, look good while you're doing it. So the eighth tip is write out a to-do list, like a task. And I only want you guys to do three things a day. Try to pick what the top three things are that's gonna be progressive in your life, right? So if you, you know, are trying to be an entrepreneur, just maybe the three things, or just dealing with your health. What are the top three things that you need to do? Is it call the doctor to make an appointment? Is it, you know, drink a certain amount of water? Is it to get a certain amount of rest? I don't care what it is, but do not stress yourself out. Pick your top three things. And that is what I do. I try to work by a list and by a calendar. And so what did I do? I went out and I bought a notebook. I bought a notebook and a planner and I write all the things that I need to get done, but I pick out the top three. And every day I pick three out of that list that I need to get done for the week and I just do that. And I try to, you know, time block because it's so important to keep yourself on a schedule if you're able to. So I try to, you know, eat my breakfast, take my medication at a certain time. You know, then I like to make breakfast for my kids and I have to do homeschool. I have to take care of my health. I have to, you know, hustle and bustle. I make time for the things that matter, but I try to do three things a day. And if I don't get to it, I'm not gonna beat myself up anymore about that. So that biggest advice is do not stress yourself out. Make your list, pick your top three, and just live day by day. And do not stress over tomorrow's worries. So that brings me to advice number nine. Do everything that you wanted to do, guys. Life is short. You remember those days being on dialysis and begging just for the opportunity to go on a trip or to spend more quality time with your family or to, you know, like buy that car that you always wanted to. Whatever it is, guys, do everything that makes you happy. Life is so short and I cannot stress that enough. I understand, again, we are in a pandemic and we can't go a lot of places right now, but plan it, right? Plan it. Or maybe do things that are local in your area that you've always wanted to do or places you wanted to visit. I cannot stress to you, life is short. 
I cannot stress to you that there are people dying around us every single day. And we are alive. We woke up this morning. You're watching this video right now. So that is giving you the capability of stepping out and trying something new. And that's what I'm personally doing. I'm going to live my life intentional. I'm going to accomplish everything that I set forth for myself because I didn't think I was going to live at one point. And now that I know I'm living, oh, I'm going to live my best life. You can believe that. And I'm going to document it. And you guys are going to see. You guys saw the old Chrissy. You see the Chrissy now. Can't wait for you guys to see where I'm at in the future as well. Live life, guys, and live it to the fullest. So now, that brings us to tip number 10, guys, which is the last tip, but is you're not alone. I want you to guys to find others that are in your similar situation. Personally, I found so much support in kidney groups on Facebook, finding, going on YouTube, finding other YouTubers like myself. Um, there's so many people that are out there. You're not the only one battling whatever your disease is or what caused you to get kidney failure. There's hundreds and thousands of people in your same situation, but you gotta go out there and find them. Even on Instagram, you guys know I love my Instagram. And you guys can follow me on Instagram at Chrissy Mac, but you can also go into hashtag and type in kidney transplant. You can see everybody that has recently got a kidney transplant. Even down to TikTok, you'll be surprised like how many people you could find by a hashtag. But all I'm asking you guys to do is connect with other people. I don't want you to ever feel like you're alone because you're not, okay? Um, yes, your family and your friends may not get it, but there are other people out there that get you, that understand you. And I love my kidney groups. They are what keeps me going, right? They give me advice and because of them, I make these YouTube videos all the time because people ask me questions and I wanna be able to give back because that's the kind of person, I have a serving heart. I wanna give back to those that are in need. And so find people, don't tell me that you're alone. Don't tell me that you battle lupus and you're the only one. No, there's lupus groups. There's um, groups that deal with, you know, stage one kidney disease or stage two. There's groups for everything out there, guys. There's no reason that you should feel alone. Yes, your family and your friends may not support you. Yes, they don't understand what you're going through. But there are people like myself that are here to support you. All you got to do is click the button below and subscribe. And I constantly try to give value. If you have questions, I want you to take a moment and comment below and let me know what your questions are because I want to be a resource for you guys. Basically, that was what my video was about is giving you guys my top 10 advice and tips that has helped me personally over the last year. Tell me what has helped you, right? What are you doing to find joy in your life in this new phase. Follow me guys on Instagram and on Facebook. You guys know I love connecting with you guys. But otherwise, I love and I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, get to know me. I love you guys and I appreciate you. See you guys next time.